this is Chris Massiello from VitaminCM.com and today I'm going to show you how to take a new computer out of the box and remove all the pre-configured crapware that comes installed on it so they have a clean Windows operating system to start working. So this is a brand new computer, it just came out of the box. I've only installed the, this video recording software that I'm using to record this demo. So if you take a look here, under all programs, there's just tons of stuff that came pre-installed on the computer that's just junk. So HP software setup, IDT control panel, there's a trial of Microsoft Office, Corel Home Office, e-readers, games, so all kinds of things on here that I don't want anything to do with. It's just really garbage software that this computer manufacturer gets paid to install on the system. So what I'm going to do is install a piece of software called PC Decrapifier. This will help me remove a lot of those files. So just go to PCDecrapifier.com and go to the download page. When the software is finished downloading, you can run it. One of the things that PC Decrapifier asks you to do during the install is create a restore point. This is a great idea. This will create an image of this computer that we can recover. If something goes wrong here and I just completely destroy something, I can at least get it back to its out of the box condition. So let's click create a restore point. Okay, so I have my restore point created. And that way, like I said, if I really mess anything up that badly, I can always go back to the original state. So it starts asking me which items that I want to remove. And I don't want to install these uh, drivers that came with my chipset. Then it shows me all these other applications that were installed with my computer. So I want to uninstall a bunch of them. So once I've selected all the programs that I want to uninstall, I'll click Next. Just confirm that I want to uninstall all these apps. And it actually goes through the process of uninstalling all these applications. So as it moves through the process, it starts launching certain uninstallers for the applications I selected. And if you want to remove one piece of software from a computer that will just destroy it, it's any Norton software. Norton will do more stuff to slow down and make your computer useless than any virus out there. Okay, so I ran the uninstall process with PC Decrapifier and I just need to restart my computer. Once you've uninstalled all the software and restarted your computer, there's one more step that I would recommend that you do, and it's install a piece of software called CCleaner. And once it's installed and you try and run it, the first thing you want to do is just analyze, and that will show you all the things that are on the computer that it thinks it needs to take care of, and click Run Cleaner. That will clean up lots and lots of files. If you click the Registry button, and say scan for issues. This will scan for issues in your registry and when you uninstall all that software it's typically going to leave a mess in your registry so once you scan for that click fix selected issues and this will clean up many of those issues in your registry and if you go to tools here you could also uninstall if there was other software you wanted to uninstall you could do that. If you go to startup you can see what software is enabled at startup and if there's software you don't want running you can just disable it from startup system restore you can clean up any system restore points that you had drive wiper if you wanted to wipe a free space off a drive and options you can set some of your settings so once you've done that your computer should be really very clean and pretty much like a, a fresh install of windows so like i said you can use pc decrapifier to rip off all the pre-installed crapware and then use CCleaner to go in behind that and clean everything up and make sure your registry is back to where it should be.